Oh, all right. Hi there, it's Colby, and uh, this video might be a tiny bit awkward because I'm I'm not gonna edit it at all. Edit it at all? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna edit it at all. Um, because uh, I I have been feeling very very low recently. The past two weeks have been very rough, and I've tried to film this video like five times already, but I've like deleted uh, the video like every time because I felt insecure or there was something else that was like I, I just wasn't happy with the video but this is a very highly requested video um and I really want to upload it because I know that people want to sort of like see this they they need advice. Right. Um so this video is going to be about how to come out. Um this is a very important topic uh c coming out as transgender um, yeah, it's a very important topic because gender is a very big part of who you are and uh, it is very scary coming out. You're very nervous, obviously. Um, if you're not nervous, then <laughs> something's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, your gender, like being trans, is something that you might have like uh, been very insecure about, maybe you've like hated yourself, been really really hard on yourself for being trans and you haven't like accepted it, so it is a very, um, it's a very important topic, uh, showing people who you are and stuff. So uh, I'm going to talk about like three main groups of people that you come out to, I'm not going to talk about how to come out to like a potential partner, because that's more like sexual and stuff like I'm not going to talk about that because I'm only 14. Uh, I might talk about that in a future video in a couple of years I don't know but now I'm just going to talk about how to come out to friends, um, family and teachers so sort of the three most important things in your life at this age if you are as old as me or like around my age. Um, so yeah first uh, just some like general tips on coming out like uh, you need to know that you're ready like if you if you don't know if you're ready then don't come out don't come out like it's a it's a bad idea uh, you need to know with yourself that you are 100% ready like last summer I asked my friend uh, I was like hey like how do I know when I'm ready to come out and they were like you just know and I was like wow thanks friend that helps a lot uh, no, but I like at that moment or like in that moment I didn't think it was helpful at all but now I realize that it was like it's, it's the truth you just know um yeah you just know it's that simple actually um if there's like a little voice in your head telling you like no I don't really think I'm ready to, to come out you're not ready don't come out you need to know with yourself that you're ready and when you're ready you will know well <laughs> I don't know if that made sense but uh, yeah it's completely normal to be nervous or to be scared or to be anxious and stuff um, because as I said earlier your gender, gender is a very big part of you and it can be very scary to like finally show the world who you are um, but yeah alright so coming out to friends uh, yeah uh, I, I think that it's uh, sort of like it's important to sort of have a group of people who support you uh, so I think that coming out to your friends first is is, uh, is a good idea like especially if you have internet friends then come out to them first like that's what I did so I came out to my internet friends and they were like okay cool like um, a few of them were trans uh, so it was sort of like like I knew that at least they were gonna accept me uh, I came out like a bit over a year ago by the way so now we know um, to my internet friends. Um, I say um a lot, wow, sorry. Uh, but yeah, so after I came out to my internet friends, I came out to a few of my friends in real life. It took me like half a year to come out to some of my classmates. And then another half a year to come out to the rest of my classmates. Um, yeah, so how I did it was that I either messaged my friends like on Instagram and I also rang one of my friends like on the phone um, so I uh, like what I found really helpful and still do is coming out to like one of your friends first like one of your really good friends someone that you know is like a supporter of the LGBTQ plus community or someone that you think might support you and accept you and stuff 
come out to them first uh, and talk to them so that you like feel safe with them and then have them like be there when you come out to like the rest of your friend group because like that person that you know like accepts you and supports you is there and it makes you feel much safer uh, when coming out to the rest of your friends um yeah and just like be honest with them like just it's it's not really just like talk to them like yeah cool so teachers um teachers is sort of different because they are like adults and it's like scarier um many months before I came out to my teachers I had a ton of nightmares about one like there's one specific teacher chasing me around school with an axe uh, axe I mean <laughs> not an ex. <laughs> that would be even scarier. <laughs> oh god. No, with an axe. Um, trying to kill me. So that was... I had a ton of nightmares about that. So that was fun. No, not really. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. But, and I came up to my teachers and so... Like, it was an accident. Like, I had a panic attack at school. Uh, like, a really bad one. And then I sort of, like, broke down after. And then I was going to talk to them about what was wrong. And why I had the panic attack. Um, and it was this thing with my birth name and I just so like freaked out over it and that was what caused me to have a panic attack and then I had to of course explain to them why my birth name made me uncomfortable and all that stuff and they were so supportive it's like oh my god but yeah okay anyway enough about my experiences how's it come out to your teachers um so you could either like for example write them an email or you could write them a letter and leave it at the desk like after school or after class or you could just like I walk up to them at school and be like, hey, like, are you busy, like, in lunch, are you busy after school, like, I, I want to talk to you about something very important. <sighs> and then what to say to your teachers, like, yeah, just be honest, talk to them about, like, hey, I, I don't really feel, like, I don't really feel like, for example, if you are female, to male, transgender, I don't really feel like a girl, I don't, I don't really, I, I just don't, um, and I was wondering if you could like call me a different name, if you could use these pronouns, um, and then just talk to them about like just talk to them about how you feel basically and uh, your worries and stuff uh, for like the future. Like that really helps because then you will like not only talk to them about like hey these are my pronouns, this is the name I want you to call me this is my name but you can also like talk to them about things that you need to sort of like get off your chest or like if you need to vent or whatever um yeah and uh, then uh, I don't know oh yeah then it's your family so your family is a bit different because like you see them every day you live with them and you really want them to like accept you naturally like or like obviously um, so what I recommend is sort of like easing them into it, like a few weeks or even months before coming out, just like talk to them about like Caitlyn Jenner for example, or watch a documentary with them on trans people, or just like talk to them, just like tell them some facts about like trans, trans, trans stuff, <laughs> talk to them about the trans stuff, and also like the LGBTQ plus community and just like yeah, talk to them about it, show them some articles on the internet, whatever. Um, then you will also sort of like be prepared uh, on how they're going to react, or like for how they're going to react when you do come out to them. So again, you could, for example, write an email, a text message, a letter. One of my friends uh, wrote a letter, and then gave it to the brother, who then later gave it to the parent while they... Uh, the pers person who was going to come out while they were at a friend's house uh, staying there for like a weekend or something and then they came back and talked to the parents um, but no matter what you do you will have to sort of like have the talk with your parents because your parents will have a lot of questions and you need to re be prepared for like them being worried about your future what other people will think they might think that it's their fault that they have done something wrong like while raising you if they are very religious, um, they also might have a hard time accepting you. Um, and especially like if they don't know much about what being transgender is. Because people fear the unknown. Like that's sort of like, that's the nature of humans. We fear the unknown. Um, so you can for example take, to, take them to like 
um, these like groups so, like yeah I don't I don't really know what they're called but like where like sort of like informative meetings I suppose uh, or you could like show them videos on the internet show them news articles show them stuff about like um, what being transgender is and like educate them that is the best thing you can do and maybe they won't accept you right away but you need to be patient you need to have patience because your parents and your brothers and sisters and gender neutral siblings um, they they are just human they are they are just people just like you and you need to be patient with them because sometimes people need some time to like process things uh, but when they have processed things uh, they will be much more accepting and stuff it took my parents many months to like let me walk around like this let me have ha have short hair you know you need to have patience um, but, but yeah just remember that it's okay to be scared it's totally normal to be scared and you can do this I believe in you uh, you are very very strong very very proud of you um, just just the fact that you're watching this video uh, it means that you want to show the world who you are uh, and that's something to be very proud of because yeah you're very strong just you watching this video is proof that you are very strong and also you're just being here um, so yeah I really really hope this video helped and uh, if you ever need to talk I'm always here you could like comment some stuff in the comment section down below or you could also DM me on Instagram so yeah I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to see more of my awkward little face. Give this video a thumbs down. No, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Stay safe, you drink, and don't hurt yourselves. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my god, I keep messing up, but my camera is about to die, so I had to end this video really quick. But yeah, I hope it helped. Okay, goodbye. Eee.